My name's Darcy Bourne. I'm on the field hockey team at Duke. Joey Baker here. I'm Mateo Durant. Hi, my name is Zoe Superville. I'm a senior on the Duke women's fencing team. And for me and my teammates, it's always been more than a game and Duke has helped us be more than athletes. Growing up, I was always a very competitive child. So that carried through both on the sports field and in the classroom, always wanting to match or outdo my peers and my older brother. And I think um, that carried through prep school, senior school, and applying for college. And now that I'm at Duke, I'm at Duke too. My parents loved it. I loved it. The coaches were thorough. I knew how great of a academic place it was. And I know that it would set me up uh, for life after football. I actually started fencing when I was nine. My friend at my fencing club at home in New York went to Duke two years before me. So I went to go visit him. The second I stepped on campus, it was amazing. It was like no other school. The, the combination of athletics as well as the academics. Duke is the top tier in both aspects and uh, we just can't really find a better place. Over the course of three years being here, prepare the younger guys for what's to come and setting an, an example. Being an athlete isn't just about playing the sport, it's about using that platform in whichever way you feel is necessary. So for me, I use my sporting platform to propel my activism. The scholarship made the difference between me going to Duke this year and me not going to Duke this year. My family was hit pretty hard by COVID. The donations that we got for the scholarship were, they made all the difference. I was able to go back to school. I, co I couldn't thank the people that donated enough 